All right, we've been here about five minutes. Ed's going to show you how we deploy our portable antenna. Go ahead, Ed. All right. This is KC0LKG, by the way, and K0MHP at the camera. You going to do some driving, Ed? Yep. Okay, the base has a stop on it, and that puts the tire firmly right up onto the, uh, the base and holds the base in place. For and the us. antenna, by the way, we've already laid it out on the ground. Let me right, step over the wire here. Have an Acme thread on the end for any kind of an antenna that you might want to screw on. That includes uh, buddy poles. Any of that there. Pull out our 24 foot telescopic pole. Twist and locks at each end. If my hands aren't too cold to lock it in, that'll be good. Grabbing the pole. Got some windy out here. And find the base. And then I just keep walking it up. Down inside the base we go. And here we are, 24 feet. So right now we're about eight minutes. According to my clock, I'll walk out here, Wade. We'll pull the antenna element, this one here, right about here. Yeah, we've had a lot of rain lately, so. meters. You might say a little again. I'm walking into the wind, Ed. No problem. Got a 40 meter antenna here where you cut. Pull a little tighter, can you? Well, we're leaning pretty good, so All right. we, don't wanna, we don't wanna force the antenna. We just used this for the school roundup club, too. This is so good. Snake. Used the coax since we have 100 feet of coax to work with. last week. The whole pole was up for, uh, I would say, wait, three or four days. Oh, yeah. We had some 40 mile on our wind last week, too. Exactly. Here's our third guy. I'm going to wrap it around here just for demonstration, but typically I would attach that with a tie. And there it is, a 24 foot, 40 meter dipole, 20 meter dipole, 80 meter dipole, whatever you want to put on it. Sitting up there. I can actually pull this one a little bit harder now. Yeah, that one's kind of sagging, Ed. That's all right. I just didn't want to go overboard with the coax. We got this figured out. How's she look now, Wade? I'm a lot straighter. That's a lot straighter. Okay, very good. Shove her to the ground. Swing. How long, Ed? How many minutes? About 11 minutes.
right, so now we have Get there, then it might not be the greatest radio because it draws quite a bit of amperage and standby, even. But if you have any dependable source of power, she'll work out real good. All band, all mode. It's got a built in tuner, right? This one I do not have the uh. tuner built in on, but I trust my. My buddy K0MHP to have done a good enough job on his antenna like he usually does. That oh, that thing's flat. <laughs> it's really flat and it lays on the ground. Exactly. All right, now we're good to go. All right. This Jeep is real handy because they give you these little little bolts to get to with your clips. Oh, let's see if I can make the end of this one here, way. There it is. Look at that. Ah. Bar's too stiff. Yeah, well, I had to spread it apart too. It's too too cold. Kind of like like me. It turned out to be a chilly day out here today. Anyway, there we go. Bring the hood down. Let's see what we got in here. Something to set this off. First new horn mat. Put the radio on. And then our back feet of our coax comes back here okay 13 and a half minutes let's go to 40 meters Wisconsin, where are you at in Wisconsin, sir? Uh, on Alaska, that's over by La Crosse, Wisconsin. Okay, very good, fine business. We're we're in Missouri, uh, north of St. Louis, about an hour, hour and a half, right on the Mississippi River, and uh, we have a, uh, a little dipole we threw up here in about 15 minutes and wanted to see how she got out on the air. So you say we're uh, 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 S9, and we appreciate the, uh, the report there. S9, audio's really good, no problem with that. Uh, All right, fine business. Thank you, Clyde, for the wonderful report, and uh, we appreciate you letting us break in there. K0KID, we are clear, sir.